welcome back to the channel just want to share a little video with you on the um, uh, traffic in Bangkok uh, and how dangerous it is uh, I've got a little bit of vision but it, it would yeah, unfortunately take a lot longer to get all the vision that I'd like to do um, right some of the stats um, there's 22,000 uh, deaths reported per year in Thailand 80% uh, of them uh, three-wheelers, which is the tut-tuts, and uh, motorbikes. So, uh, why? Um, well, everyone just breaks the rules. Um, so the police have been, um, I'm, I'm quoting Bangkok, uh, Bangkok Post here, uh, have been trying to um, get it fixed up. So what they've done uh, on January the 9th, they have introduced uh, a 12 point system where um, if you go through a red light or um, a crosswalk, um, no seat belt, um, uh, no helmet, they've introduced a, a one point system where you lose a point. Um, but oh, I don't think this goes far enough because once you lose your 12 points, you've only got uh, a three month period and then you actually get your license back. So it doesn't actually go that far. Uh, they have introduced some heavy fines for drink driving. Um, so you can actually lose your license and, and you can actually go to jail over here for that. Um, but talking to a lot of the um, tut tut drivers here, it, it, the police just can't catch them. So it's actually impossible to actually catch them. Um, the stats, uh, as follows, 80% of uh, accidents, of the ones that are reported, and by the way, a lot of people think that there's actually more than 22,000 deaths. And the only reason I'm putting this up is because it's just a horrible waste of life. 80% um, are, like I said, what they are. Um, and when you have a look at, at some of the vision I've got and, and by looking around the streets, no one, one in five, would wear a helmet. Um, when we're in Kuala Lumpur, if, you, if you're, not that I catch a um, motorbikes here because we're, we're too old to sit in the back of a motorbike, but when you catch a grab, uh, which is very, very popular, um, in Kuala Lumpur, for example, they actually, um, the grab drivers actually come with a spare helmet. Here, they don't, they don't carry a spare helmet, so, um, and the amount of people that load onto a bike um, this afternoon, I actually saw um, a uh, mother, obviously a mother, with um, four school children. So that's five on a motorbike. There would have been, whether or not saw their own kids, I don't know, because a couple of the kids looked about the same age to me. So there was a, uh, a th about a three-year-old be between her holding onto the handlebars. So, you know, let's hope don't grip too hard. And then uh, mum was next, and then there was a, another three-year-old wedged between her and then behind her another two kids up to the about the age of about eight or nine not one of them wearing a helmet like i just freak when i see it it's just it's just well, it's just an accident waiting to happen so um yeah i just thought i'd uh yeah it, you know I, I i i can't stop it that's for sure I, I just don't and this side saddle when you watch them um some of these girls sitting on motorbikes and they side saddle and it's not like they even hold on. They're just sitting side saddle and got a mobile phone in their hands and, um, you know, one bike veers left. <sighs> just remedy for disaster. So I didn't actually see what the stats were for um, um, injuries, but uh, if there's 22,000 deaths reported, you can imagine there'd be more. And I don't know how many deaths and maimed and, and whatever. So it is a serious problem. Bangkok is actually... Um, uh, Per head of capita, uh, the worst place in the world. Um, and, you know, and seriously, crossing crossing the road here. Um, yeah, a, a guy said to me last night, he said, ah, well, huh, that's just Bangkok. Well, yeah, then I don't know whether you can just laugh it off and say, that's just Bangkok. I mean, where we were, we were trying to cross a, a road where, you know, the road turns red and the lights turn, the walking turns green, but they just, drive through it, they just don't care, they just drive through it, because like I said, there's, I don't know, uh, I would, I'm surprised when we're in Kuala Lumpur, 
we actually saw um, police presence a fair bit. Now, they weren't picking anybody up or whatever, but they were driving around the city areas um, and some of the bigger suburb areas uh, with their lights on blue. So there was a police presence here. Uh, we've been here nearly a month, and I think I've probably seen two. Uh, you just don't see them. Um, so anyway, um, have a little look at the video, and um, let's hope Bangkok can tidy themselves up and save some lives. That'd be good. All right, bye for now. Tonight's Monday night, so it's very quiet, but we'll just have a little look at this intersection and see if we can see what happens. Lots of motorbikes, no helmets. And there's another um, passenger over there, sitting side saddle, which I just don't understand. You see them on the side saddle here with um, mobile phones in their hands, they're not hanging on to anybody. If a motorbike just suddenly turned left, they've got to fall off. edgy and there they go straight through red lights right they're green now let's see if they come from any other direction well, they've got they've got green across the road has uh, red but they're still they're still coming out into the traffic so that's just a quick example of one uh, and it's like says not even busy but you just saw them 40, 50 bikes just go straight through and that's why you get so many accidents. Here's another case um, coming down the wrong side of the road. I'm not sure if you can see but all those bikes in the middle are all on a red light. Now they're going to start coming through, watch. They'll start. There, here they come. No helmet, straight through. See? It's crazy. One's going down the wrong wrong way, just the one lane road, straight down the wrong way. And you wonder why. Um, this is what I don't like to see. Little kids on a bike by themselves. It's just past peak hour here. Um, so things do slow down a little bit. But I'll try to show you some of the silly things that happen as we get busier when the four lanes block up they turn the other lane into the wrong way and at the moment you can't see any other traffic here the traffic coming back down here but they just and I don't know what you think um, it's going to happen if you want to turn the other one lane so here's the one lane car coming down motorbike's got to find somewhere to get out he'll just go past and here comes a bus. I'm not sure how this motorbike gets past the bus. Watch. Stops. See the bus? Cannot get past. And then this bus... Look, see motorbikes. So they come down the, the other lane. And continue to block. Now here's the bus stopping. And watch this. Motorbikes will shoot along the inside. Not yet. Yes, there it goes. So there's people getting on a bus. And a motorbike will not, doesn't have the patience to wait. Here's another one. Straight on the inside of the bus where people hop on and off. I don't know where you, in what planet you think that that's normal. It's not normal. And it's dangerous. Well, they do it all day long. 
there's just more reasons that they have so many deaths in them. Going down the wrong side, down the one lane. You'll even see cars come down here as well. All going down the wrong way. Car coming through. Another car. Swing in, swing out. Just watch how crosswork works here. So two seconds, the lights are gone red. People are coming across. Straight through in front of people, another one through. Here's a car go straight through red light. People try two more bikes. Um, another bike. It's still so these are still red lights. Another bike, another bike. It still says walk and it's a red light. And straight through, still red light, no problem. That part is just unbelievable how they do that. See if we can get that. Look at that, four kids, four kids on a motorbike and three, all school children. I can't stand looking at that. It is just so bad. Age, that will be about 13 to 14 and younger. Righto. Okay, so here comes the bus, so they'll have to pull over somewhere. There's no room. Big swing in too. Just wrong way, just a quick swing in. still swing over into the oncoming traffic. <laughs> Sit on the back of the ute, just squatting down. Welcome back to the channel. Um, just want to have a little chat about the. Um, oh. <laughs> Bloopers. I've got to redo it without sniffing. Just a very quick apology on the sniffing. Um, got a bit of a bit of runny nose. Um, I could re-record it, but just forgive it. Thank you. See ya.